So interventional neurology is a subspecialty of neurology where um, I specialize in cerebrovascular diseases. An aneurysm is an outpouching of a blood vessel in the brain from a weakness that forms in the blood vessel. Um, there's a other kind of aneurysm that is where the vessel stretches out and this elongation or stretching of the blood vessel can lead to um, bleeding in the brain and about two to five percent of people have brain aneurysms and only a small portion of those aneurysms will bleed in a person's lifetime. Aneurysms are sometimes found by CAT scan or MRI performed for other reasons. Um, the other scenario would be that a patient has bleeding around their brain and we perform testing to look at the blood vessels. And once an aneurysm is found, we usually go further and perform a conventional angiogram by injecting dye inside of the blood vessel to get the best pictures possible of the aneurysm. Typically, there's no symptoms that someone has a brain aneurysm, and it's usually found on imaging for another reason. Somebody may have a seizure or a severe headache that they've never had before, and that would lead uh, to an MRI or CAT scan being performed, and that's how we would typically find an aneurysm. I'm involved in helping diagnose aneurysms, helping find their location, helping um, characterize the anatomy of the aneurysm by performing um, cerebral angiography. And I also perform the treatment of aneurysms that is through the inside of the blood vessel. I work closely with my neurosurgical colleagues on deciding whether or not an aneurysm should be treated from the inside or treated from the outside. Um, it's very important to control your blood pressure and quit smoking if you smoke. And also, to have an active lifestyle and not let the anxiety of having that aneurysm run your life. You should still exercise and have fun just as you normally would.